Hello everyone, welcome to our channel um, and welcome back if you've been following us. So today we're going to be looking at a technique, Yoko Minuchi, uh, Juji Nage. So the Juji Nage is a crossing of the arms and a very interesting technique to look at uh, and from a strike from the, to the side of the head. Stay tuned and we'll show you how to do it. I'll begin as usually with uh, the explanation of the footwork for this technique. So we begin in Hanmi as usually and as the attack Yoko Menuchi is coming in, I will do a kind of two step changing the, the angle towards the uke, grabbing the or receiving the attack, the arm. And as I do the transition of the hands, I need to change the angle again a little bit in order to be able to grab the Jujinage. And once I have the arms uh, in the position for the Jujinage technique, then I slide in towards the center line of the uke, uh, cutting his balance and forcing him to go down on the tatami. And as he goes down, I will follow and position my feet uh, aside the uke when he is down on the, on the ground. And from here then, I can use a turn of my hips to apply the pin. We have had a look at the footwork. Let's continue with the movements with the partner now. So, I'm in the hanmi, waiting for the attack, and the attack is Yoko Menucci, so a strike to the side of the head. And as this attack comes in, I will do the two-step, changing the position, changing my axis uh, or my position versus the uke. And similar to the kotegashi, I will bring my hands together and take over the wrist here with the other hand. Okay, and this is already the opportunity for me to move into the uh, Jujinaga technique. So I step around, the step is also a similar like uh, the, uh, the step is also similar like in the Kotegashi, so I can step around a little bit here and raise my other hand, my free hand, towards the face of the uke. So this way the uke is kind of forced to connect with me here in order to protect his face. So here I can wrap the arms of the uke into the Jujinage and I enter bringing him down, follow down, position myself at his side, and then I do a little turn of the hips in order to apply the Jujinage pin. So let's have a look quickly at the transition itself because this is kind of the most interesting point about this technique. So after the Yoko Uchi, I'm here. I guide the attacking arm with my uh, external hand the hand which is uh, like mirroring the attacking arm down. I get here with the other hand, so I get both my hands together. And from here I can switch my hand. So the, the other one is now guiding, and this one is coming up. So actually here I can get the wrist of the uke between my thumb and my index. So this is what I do here, and I grab this way, I grab the arm for the wrist for the Jujinaga from underneath. And then the other one is getting here, connecting with the wrist. And I, I can bring the arms together uh, in the application of a Jujinaga. And in case you're a bit late for this technique, uh, to do the techniques immediately uh, when switching uh, the hands, uh, you can also continue similar way like the uh, Kotegashi, because as I explained before, the movements are, of the body are very similar to the Kotegashi. So actually when the Yoko Menuchi is coming in, Let's say I miss here to, to, to grab the wrist. I can go over and continue like the Kotegashi. Open up, transitioning the wrist here to the other hand. And from here, I have the same movement. So I move towards the face of the uke, forcing him to connect with me here. And from here, I can apply the Jujinaga as well. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more coming up.